Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how to make a website and more specifically how to make a portfolio using Wix. This video is sponsored by Wix so if you guys want to check the link in the description, you can create your own account and start making your own website. In 2020, it's essential to have a website just because you can't post all your stuff on your Instagram and it's great in more professional settings. I would think of a website as a virtual business card and in today's age it's probably more effective than a business card. And yeah, let's just get into creating this video. If you guys enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. With that being said, let's get straight into it. So right here, I'm in Wix. The first thing you wanna do is obviously sign up. There's a free plan and then there's a paid plan. You guys can choose which one you want. So I'm just gonna create a new site right here. And I have my concert photography stuff over here in Google Photos. So basically, I'm going to make a portfolio just for concert photography. So right here, once you um, press create new site, it's going to direct you to this page, which will basically tell you to choose a category. Like, what are you going to use this website for? So for me, it's photography. And then they're going to show you a bunch of templates. So you can actually choose different categories within the photography category. So like events and portraits, which is something I do. So let's just say I choose this right here, family photographer and press edit. It's gonna lead me to their editor and I can edit stuff. If you want to preview it, like check the pages and the layout and stuff like that, you can press view, but I'm gonna go straight into it. So right here, you can see everything loads, there's guidelines. I'm just gonna go through a quick rundown. So if you press menus and pages here, you can edit this menu right here, it shows your pages and to edit, you can just press on settings and edit everything. Background basically just changes the background. Um, you can have a solid background color, you can have pictures. You can have a video as a background and here you can add like buttons and different stuff like that. So say you wanted to add your Instagram in the header, you can do that. Or let's just say we're doing YouTube. You just want to drag it onto the header and you can do that. So right there, the Wix YouTube appears. You can change it obviously by pressing settings and set your channel. I'm just going to delete it. So you can see there's a bunch of things. And if you really don't know what is what, you can just press the question mark and it'll give you some info. So say you want more intuitive like social media feed, you can press add over here. These are just little apps that are uh, very helpful that aren't included in just the basic template. These are sort of just custom ones that you can um, add to your website. So you can add like a live chat feature or something like that um, if you wanted to. Next is media. Basically, if you just upload all your media at once, uh, I think it's beneficial because say you want to change your background because you already uploaded all your media at the beginning. You can just choose from them. And the great thing about uploading media is like you can go um, log into your Google Drive or Instagram or Facebook and Google Photos. Like I am right here. I'm in, I'm in Google Photos and you'll be able to navigate through them. Um, so it makes it very, very easy that way. And the last two um, options over here talk about blogs and bookings. So say you're selling something, you're a photographer, you're accepting payments for bookings. You can do that. Or maybe you're a blogger and you don't actually want to use this as a portfolio, but rather a blog. So let's just edit this real quick. Let's go to the main page. So to navigate, you can just press on the menu, press navigate, or you can go to menus um, tab right there. Back to the home page. Let's just edit this. So we're gonna double click, type in Steven Van Photography. That works. Concert photographer. And we're just gonna add some of our media. So right here, this is the gallery that they've uploaded. I don't really want any of this. Let me just add my own media. Um, go to upload media. I'm just going to choose the ones I've downloaded. So right here, a couple of them have uploaded. I'm just going to add them to my page so you can just select them all right here. Press add to page and I'm going to delete the first 12 pictures right here and then the rest will show. So you can see um, my photos show up. Next, we're going to go to the menu. We're going to navigate through them. And before I do that, you can go to manage menu and you can actually create sub menus. So all you want to do is you want to take an existing page or create a new page, just move it right and it'll snap into place. And so whenever you navigate to pregnancy, there's going to be a sub menu. So if you go to preview here and hover over now family shows. So I'm going to manage menu and I'm going to go to site menu. I'm going to change all the names. So let's just say I wanted different artists I photographed for different pages. So say I just want two pages. So say we're good with this and we're just going to go to um, the Travis Scott page. And now we can edit the text, obviously. 
We can also change the layout of the photo. So go to settings and go to layout. I'm just going to go for grid. Once again, we're going to go to manage media. I'm going to delete all these because I don't need them. Add media images. And once again, these already are there because you already uploaded them. We're going to go to little TJ. I'm going to do the same thing. What you could also do, which might be easier, is let's just say you didn't have separate pages. You just had one that said like portfolio, for example. So right now it's hidden. So we can press show. And now under portfolio, if you preview it, Travis Scott's under it. So that might be a more efficient way of doing stuff. So we're going to go to manage menu again and put a little TJ under that. So what that allows you to do is there's a home page, like maybe a bunch of your photos. You go to Travis Scott. There's Travis Scott. You go to little TJ. There's a little TJ. So let's just go back to the home page. So let's go to little TJ now. Download a couple of his pictures. So this photo, let's just get four as well. I can also go to the Google Photos option and import it that way. But it might take a little bit longer because I'm already signed in here. And I already have the folder out. So I'm going, I'm going to change the text once again. A little TJ. We're going to go to Manage Media. Delete all these. Add Media. We already have one of little TJ right here. Let's just drag these ones in. So now that they're up, I'm going to select the little TJ ones. Press add to page. Select all. Now they're here. We're going to press done. They should appear. And then you can see the grid layout is applied. So yeah, that's about it. Um, what we can also do is change the text because it doesn't really fit with the concert stuff like this skinny fonts. We're going to hover over. We're going to select the text right here, the main text. And we're going to choose maybe a bolder font. So I like Lulo clean right here. So let's just say I choose that. And for this one, I choose um, something smaller like this. Another thing you can do is add transitions. So if you press settings right here, so if you press freeze, the header is going to stay. So if you press preview, you can see the header is still there. I personally don't like that. You can also add uh, page transitions when a page um, is loaded. So if you press on a page like this, go to page transitions, you can select one. So vertical, for example. You can see what that does cut in is different crossfade just fades in horizontal same thing and the last thing i'm going to do is i'm going to add a instagram feed so i'm going to go to um at market press add instagram feed this is probably the most helpful thing and then it's going to load you can edit how many images per row so if you're also adding a gallery you can change these settings as well and yeah once you're done um everything you just want to press preview to see press publish you can also connect your own domain if you have your own. Right now, it's just the default um, .wixsite.com. So if I visit my site, this is how it looks like. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. Make sure to check the link in the description and sign up if you want to make your own portfolio. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.